Hey, what's up guys? I hope you guys are doing well. So today I have been experimenting with the Bluetti Elite 200 V2 and my goal was to figure out how to charge this system only at a set time of the day um, and to be able to leave it plugged in but not have it be charging throughout the whole day and only to charge it within you know an hour, hour and a half or two. And the reason why I wanted this was because I currently have a solar system for my house and its max or peak production is in the afternoon. I'm also with PG&E, which is horrible right now with the high rates. Um, and my system, I do have some batteries, but I'm saving that for whole house use throughout the evening and nights. And so this Bluetti, I'm just trying to f see if I can charge it during the peak solar production time during the middle of the day and to be able to use that throughout you know to add it to my battery backup or use it during the night when I have to and uh, not have to pull from the main reserves of the uh, uh, main system of the house. I'm also with uh, NIM 3.0 or the net metering 3.0 and it's a horrible system where you have to buy it at their high rate and if you don't store it at, uh, in an external battery system then you have to buy it uh, at the normal rate it's not a one for one trade anymore well anyways let me show you i figured out how to set this whole thing up and so let me show you let's go into the app but before i do that uh, as you can see right now i'm at 83 percent and I have my laptop, our phone charger and laptop charger plugged in. So I am using or pulling uh, 54 watts from the battery pack. And uh, nothing is, is being uh, charged from the grid right now. I have it plugged in in the back there. So I have it all set up and I will show you through the app, okay? So let's go into our Blue Eddy app. Uh, it's a very useful app, so definitely make sure you have it downloaded. And the first thing that we need to do is um, to go into our battery system and hit the settings menu. Go here, what we'll be looking for is this time control UPS or working mode. It should be at standard UPS and so I found that to be able to control it is in the time control UPS. So you'll want to go there. I have my SOC settings to be 10% and 100%. Um, and at 100%, I'm not, I'm not relying on any grid or any solar panels to charge this up. So I don't want it alternating between um, these panel settings and the grid settings. So I set it to 100% so that um, it will pretty much never reach that level so it, it doesn't kick off and it'll always charge from the AC power. Um, and so you can change this to your liking, but for me, it's uh, I'm leaving it at, or I'm setting it to 10% and 100%. And the next thing we have to work on is this schedule setting. Okay, I'm doing this as a demo uh, for this video, but my goal or my plan is to set this to be at about the one o'clock to uh, two, one to three p.m. in the afternoon. It takes about an hour and a half to charge this battery pack, maybe a little less if I turn it up into turbo mode um, from zero to 100 percent. But for this video, I'm setting it uh, to begin charging at 9.30 and for it to last for five minutes for the duration of this video. Uh, the, the one thing that I figured out in here is for you to make sure that you, this is on a 24 hour uh, clock schedule and you can see from zero to 9.30 pretty much, let's just click it. So you have to set what you want this time period to do. Um, here I have it set that I want to be able to use or peak energy storage system discharges when electricity prices are higher. So 
during that time period, I want the battery to be able to just use the, the energy that's stored in there and not use the system as a pass-through system, meaning that um, I'm using the energy from the grid and using the battery pack as kind of like a, a pass-through system there. It just is still coming off the grid. So during the time of 0 to 9.30, it would be using the uh, power from the uh, battery pack. Mm -hmm. And then at 9.30, sorry about that, at 9.30, we have it so that it is uh, charging from the uh, grid to charge the battery. So we can see that. So at 9.30, we'll look at the app and see if it automatically kicks on or not. It should. Uh, so I have it set to that from 9, 9.30 to 9.35. And then here from 9.35 to 23.59 will be time for uh, anything that's plugged into the battery at that time would just be using energy from the battery pack even though the outlet even though the ac plug from the blue eddy is still connected to the wall so again that's how i have it set up for here but uh for this little green part uh when i am setting it for my own use i'm putting it from 1 to 3 p.m when my solar system for the house is at its max production so let's go to the main uh page again at 9.30, it should be kicking off. Right now, I'm running uh, or charging my phone, and so that's why it's using 14 watts from just the battery pack, and it's draining from the battery pack. And I have, if you look at these, this little diagram, I have the AC plug connected to the Blue Eddy, and it's green up there, but it's not drawing any power because it's not set to go off or begin charging yet. And so let's see, once it hits 9.30, it should, it should uh, kick in and uh, we should see that it will start to draw 1400 uh, watt from there and uh, the pass through power, it should also be um, still working at, at that point. Uh, so it is 9.30 right now, according to the phone. It, I've noticed that it takes about a minute to kick in sometimes so let's let's give it till 931 to see if it uh, turns on so 931 and it just began drawing again it I found that for some reason it's it lags about a, a minute uh, but anyways a, a minute in the overall scheme of thing doesn't really matter that much um, but let's uh, hang out here. I'll speed it up for you guys, but I want to see if by 935, which is where I had the setting set to, it should kick off by itself. There we go. So it did shut itself down, 9.36. As you can see, the uh, AC plug is still plugged into the grid. Um, and it's I'm still pulling about 12 watts from the wall. One thing that I also wanted to check and make sure that it would function correctly is what would happen if I changed it to standby or the uh, normal standard UPS function. Right now I'm still under the time control UPS and I've gone in and set it to be where uh, it'll start at 1 p.m. and last until 3 p.m. for the charging period. And so um, if we go back here to the main menu, you can see that uh, everything or the AC outlet still plugged in or the plug is still plugged. I'm not using any uh, I'm not doing any charging so no output zero wattage for that but let's go back and let's see if I change it to standard UPS to see if that would turn on the the charging function because it's on standby right now 
there we go so let's say uh, for periods when you want to charge it on an emergency basis let's say if i'm about to go on a road trip and i don't want to wait uh, those off time during the night let's say if i wanted to charge it at night i would go back to the standard ups function and it would just charge it however i like or whenever i plug it in okay but for right now i want it to be charging at that set time so i can maximize my charging with the solar power so i will just go back here into the working mode and select my time control uh, ups and at that schedule so if we go back here it should turn it off to yep zero watt and that is good to go i'll turn off the ac power here as well since i'm not using anymore all right guys hope that helped and i will see you guys in the next one